Shore leave. Shore leave is the leave that professional sailors get to spend on dry land. It is also known as liberty within the United States Navy, United States Coast Guard, and Marine Corps. During the age of sail, shore leave was often abused by the members of the crew, who took it as a prime opportunity to drink in excess, indulge in other pleasures denied to them, aboard the solely masculine ships and desert. Many captains were forced to take on new members of the crew to replace the ones lost due to shore leave. Amenity Ships As the Royal Navy prepared for operations in the Pacific Ocean during the final stage of World War Roman II, warships were recognized to be operating far from populated ports. Amenity ships were expected to provide an alternative to shore leave at remote island anchorages without commercial recreation facilities. United States Navy Liberty In popular culture, books, films, and songs about sailors on shore leave include Jean Jennett's 1953 novel, Quarrel of Breast, Jean Kelly and Stanley Donan's 1949 film musical, Leonard Bernstein's On the Town, and Belgian singer-songwriter Jacques Brel's 1964 ballad Amsterdam. Singer-songwriter Tom Waits wrote, a song entitled Shore Leave in 1982, and included it on his album of the following year, Sword for Strongbones. As well as describing the excesses noted above, it also details the loneliness that many sailors feel when they suddenly find themselves with free time, but without loved ones to share it with. In many science fiction stories in which space travel is depicted, Shore Leave has the same basic principle, but is more metaphorical, as a spacecraft crew does not necessarily disembark to a planetary location with a shoreline. The crew sometimes does not visit a planet at all, but instead spend its shore leave on a space station with recreational facilities for Krupersons on leave. Filk musician Leslie Fish recorded a song based on the original Star Trek television series called Band from Argo that detailed the debauchery and chaos caused by the Starfleet crew on shore leave. In the 1955 film, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Roberts Henry Fonded is forced to give up his dreams by working out a deal with the ship's tyrannical captain Morton Jim Cagney to give the crew liberty. However, the crew ends up crashing a party for Colonel and raiding an admiral's house, which leads to it getting kicked out the very next morning.